guys, I'm Spencer, and today, guys, I'm going to be doing the Lego Star Wars Jakku Mock, Episode 5. Now, this is going to be the final Jakku Mock episode. And the reason for that is because I got so much done, and I just don't want to copy Watermelon Studios, because he did a Jakku Mock as well, for those of you who don't know. And his was finished in four episodes. And I don't want to copy him and have mine finished in just four episodes. I think that would be kind of copying him a little too much. So instead, I'm adding this fifth one that's going to be the shortest Jack Q episode. So I just want to show you what I got done. So let's get started. So this is the battlefield. Nothing changed. Still got the ditch detail and everything. The two ditches and everything. It's not changed at all. But I wanted to start out with it because it's still part of the mock. It'll, I'll show you all the fine sand detailing in the mock review. But this piece is literally here for no reason. But this piece is here for a reason. This gun. This gun was made by another YouTuber. His name, his username is Star Wars What If. So you guys can check him out, subscribe to him, and make this gun for you for yourself. He made a video on how to make this gun. You guys can check it out and subscribe to him and make this gun for yourself. So I'm going to be officially using it in the mock. So that's really cool. So shout out to Star Wars What If. So that is going to be it for the battlefield. Let's take you into the base. So this is the base progress. I'll show you the second floor in a minute. But the first thing I really did was I added two more supports for the second floor. Two more thinner ones, as you can see, to hold it up. This first little thin one, and the other little thin one, and then there's the big one. It's hard to show you on camera. There, that's a better view. But I added the two supports. I added those two supports to hold it more sturdy. Like when I go like this, it only moves slightly doesn't break apart on me so very essential and I added this elevator to transport them it's connected with this plate and I was able to make it transport them like going up let's say it started down there yeah I kind of the roof was in the way but it'll go right up to there and the minifigure will just walk off so that's actually an elevator from the First Order ATST that my brother has. I just extended it to be able to reach up to this height because it's not really that tall. So now into the interior details of the first floor. We have this right here. This is a plate from the Battle on Scarif. It's got stickers on it and it's a really cool plate that I thought I'd use. Because of it, the stickers have arrows on them, to sh and I thought that would be cool to show the vehicles where to go out and the minifigures. So I th thought it'd be cool to use. So, and then right by it, I have this like I don't know power generator, some bit of detail I decided to add. And this is an unfinished crane for the first order transport speeder. And I actually think part of it is a different color, as you can see right there, that more brownish gray. Wondering if that's the original dark gray that Lego had. Let me know down in the comments if you know what that color is. But I have something I'm gonna put here. I don't even know what yet. And then over here I have this random thing. I don't know what it's gonna be or if, or if it's even gonna be in the final mock. Got a little crate right there. You can barely see it, but you can kind of see it. The lighting is kind of better from far away. There, you can see it better now. But you still can't see it too well. Now I have that control panel I showed you last, or episode two. So that is it for the first floor. I have these plate, um, these plates going around for detail. So now let's move on to the second floor, which I've been working on quite a bit. I got this all like this is almost done i just like 
I just have to order parts for the second floor and then I'm pretty much done with this space. I just need to order gray bricks. I'm, I, I keep running out of gray bricks in this mock. But this is going to be a random hallway. It's not going to be using the color black. That's just for outlining and deciding the spacing between the three rooms that are going to be up here. This is going to be a random hallway because there's a bunch of random hallways in Star Wars. Let me, do, let me know down in the comments if I'm right. But you can see that the elevator would just come right back, right, right up there, and you would transport yourself to imaginary rooms on the other side. Maybe but we're just gonna pretend those rooms are there. And then we have this little doorway you would go through, and there's you would come into the bedroom. This isn't final yet, I'm thinking, because there's so many colors under the beds. There's gonna be four little beds, four big, four like bigger beds like the two like two clones to sleep in one on this end one on this end i'm thinking and then these are just to outline i'm not going to use these ridiculous colors and then i'm trying to excuse me finish that up and then you go through this doorway and there is the command center now if you look through this window you can see that there you, there's this is the command center and there's this big bay window where you can see out onto the battlefield and I really like that and there's a these gray bricks for a base and a tan plate for the battlefield and then those bricks are there for no random or for no reason and then this is the reason why the resistance is attacking this base is they don't want this is the second star killer base prototyping plans and they are getting ready to make the plans for the second star killer base this is just the prototype plans and they're figuring that out so that's why the resistance will be coming through there and attacking so that's just a reason why they're attacking this a reason i had to have a reason but yeah i think it looks really good from like this angle with the giant doorway and there's the bay windows i think that looks really cool but yeah I think that's it for this short Jakku mock episode. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for the mock review and subscribe to Star Wars What If. And also give me a like on this video, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.